Well, I thought Indiana played great. I thought they were very aggressive. Um, I thought they had us on our heels a lot. Um, we had a really hard time stopping them. Our defense has been very good lately, and um, you know we just couldn't seem to figure them out. Credit to them. Um, again, their setter, um, Cameron, is really good, and I thought she just you know had us had us baffled and skating around out there. So um, you know, good for us. I don't I don't think we ever felt comfortable in the match, you know, but we found a way to come away with the victory and, and win some tight sets. Coach, can you just kind of discuss what happened in that third set, kind of middle to the end, and what broke down, and what sort of adjustments you made into that fourth set that kind of made the difference? Yeah, I thought um, the third set, the first half, was the best we were playing, actually. And I felt like we had a good lead. We were doing a lot of good things. And then for us, again, it's serve receive, you know, and they had a lot of very aggressive servers, and they didn't miss much tonight. Um, for as aggressively as they were going after it, you know, they were, they were pretty in. And, uh, and again, we just had a really hard time with them. So. Uh, again, I think if you look at the stats, we probably beat them in most things, except they aced us ten times, and that's a that's a big problem. So for us, um, and it just felt like it felt like each set there was like one run, right? And we just couldn't get that that first side out, and it felt like uh, felt like someone new was taking a turn to kind of make that error or try to do too much. I'm not sure what that was for us, but um, again, I just thought you know credit them being aggressive and and making us feel uncomfortable in our own gym. Um, you know, but we, we, we need to be able to handle that pressure better. And, you know, this week we go to Ohio State and Penn State, and those environments are only going to get harder. So um, we have a lot to learn from this. Again, we just beat two really good teams this weekend, which is great. Um, you know, but I thought we, you know, we didn't play very clean tonight. Does that give the team confidence? You know, you open Big Ten play for the first time, and, and you're 2-0. and up. I hope so. I mean, it's better than being 0-2, you know. And again, don't get me wrong, we did a lot of things really well. Again, I felt like our, you know, first two contacts weren't great tonight. We still hit 261, you know. So it's like that's, it felt way worse, you know. So again, there's lots of things we're doing well. Um, we're still blocking a lot of balls. We're, I thought we made some really nice defensive plays. But overall, I thought that was our weakest defensive performance of the year. And I thought our, that was the most undisciplined we've been. We were not into our scouting report really ever. Um, and so that was very frustrating for this coach and we've been really good at that all year so I just didn't quite recognize us tonight but again credit to us for finding ways to get it done and um, you know we hopefully learn from this. Maybe kind of describing this a little weird but that kind of top spin serve from the few games that I have watched for you guys has kind of presented some challenges on the defensive side. Do you feel like that's something that teams are going to look at and try to take advantage and how do you kind of maybe fix that or prepare for that potentially? Down yeah, I mean, we've been, you know, in prep for this week because they had three tonight and then Illinois had one. So, um, you know, we used our practice players and they were doing a lot to us and we got a lot of reps and I thought we felt comfortable. But you have to also handle the emotions of the match um, and the nerves of that and be really calm because you have to embrace the pace that's coming, right? There's more, more heat on that ball um, when they do a jump top spin. And again, I just thought too often we were just kind of uh, lackadaisical, slow with our platform, slow with our feet reacting, and we just weren't cushioning very well. Normally in our program, we've done really well with those types of servers, and you know we haven't responded with that. So, you know, it's something for us to pay attention to and continue to practice. Again, there's normally not that many servers in the country that bring those serves. We just happen to find Pitt, and now this weekend, and you know we find and found some. So, um, you know, again, that's a skill set that we can develop more. Does this week of prep feel any different for you? You know, given that. You're preparing for a team Oregon's never played before in Indiana, and I think somebody played like four times in Illinois. Did it feel different this week? It really feels like non-conference still. You know, again, normally we would play Oregon State and somebody else, and that's you know how pack is. So um, you know, playing Oregon State last week kind of threw us off, but then it's like, who are these guys? You know, coming. Um, you know, the only times we've played them in the past have been in non-conference. So no, it's different. And I think the other big difference is normally we play a double round robin. Right, so we're going to see them again at their place, and you know that's something that's new for us. So, other than the, um, you know the the West Coast teams in the conference, we're we're only going to see everybody once. So, um, we need to have our scouting report tight and locked in and execute it because you're not going to get that second chance against them. So, uh, but again, I thought they I thought they passed pretty well. Their setter was really moving, and you know she's tough. And I think that's a tournament team. I know they don't feel like they played well last night, um, but I thought you know they they brought it today. Quite a few flashes from Chris tonight that I'm mm. like, where has that been? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I've been paying attention enough when something big like that. But you know, what's it been like? You know, watching her performance tonight. Just you know, she obviously is kind of the focal point when it comes to assisting. But she had several kills. She had a couple of big blocks as mm. well. And just what's it been like watching her grow into? It almost feels like kind of a you know a little bit of a leader on this team right now. 
Yeah, again, the intangibles, the things that Chris can do are fantastic, right? She's not just a setter. She can affect the outcome in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, and that block at the end was as big as any. Um, you know, that was a really important point for us and good for her. And then setting Colby um, at the end on a not an easy set attempt um, was really great. And um, I, yeah, I think, you know, Oni and Noemi normally give us a ton of passion, um, but I don't think they scored like they normally do. So I think they were a little in, into trying to figure that out. So I think you probably noticed Chris a little bit more tonight. Um, you know, but again, I, I, I really like how Chris is developing. She's doing a lot of good things. And, you know, we are not controlling the ball well enough to let her just kind of run what she wants to run. We're having to just kind of uh, deal with a lot of uh, uncertainty in serve receive. So she's handling it, I think, very well. And again, the, as poorly as we're passing for us to hit how we're hitting tells me she's keeping her nerve and she's making good choices and doing the best to, to fix it. So we could do her a lot of favors by controlling the ball a little bit better and, and let her have options. How important was it for her last year to kind of sit and watch Hannah and you know, see what she's doing, learn and practice to prepare for this season? Yeah, I mean, I'm a huge believer in redshirting. Um, I was lucky enough to get a fifth year in college and the difference from when I was 18 to when I was 22 was life-changing and totally different human. Um, in my experience with the players that we've had, and we've had a lot, um, and then obviously the COVID year really gave a lot of people that. Um, but same thing, I think if you would ask them if they could have that fifth year in college when they're into that point, they are thrilled to be able to have that opportunity. Uh, freshman year, there's just a lot going on in your life. There's a lot of change, just coming to college, going away from home. And Chris came from North Carolina, right, not down the road. Um, you know, and then this, the pace of play, the level of serving, the level of aggressiveness, the level of speed and height and power, it's just so, so different. So anytime a true freshman can come out there and do big things, I think it's really incredible um, because the level that we play at, not just Division One, but the, the top level of Division I is, uh, is brutal. It's so tough. And again, I think for Chris, she's much more prepared for this now because of what she went through last year. Uh, again, I, and I don't even know it's just being behind Hannah, but it's just seeing the whole experience. Um, you know, but she's pretty tough and she has great desire. And um, you know, so I think all those things are happening for her because of what she's putting into it. But I think it was a good learning uh, experience for her. I got one more question, just 10 service errors tonight. Again, this has been kind of a theme this season. You guys are averaging actually roughly around the same you were last year. Do you feel like that's kind of been your guys' like one Achilles heel in your guys' game. And again, how important is that going to be to clean up when you're going to have to take on teams like Ohio State, Penn State, Nebraska, et cetera, you know, down the road here in the next couple of weeks? Um, I actually wasn't bothered by our miss serves tonight, other than Mimi's first couple, which I thought were very mental. Uh, but I thought she got it together. I was challenging her to be more aggressive with the serve. I thought she was being too unaggressive, and so the ball was floating on her and she was missing. Um, you know, again, moving forward, talking about those teams, we have to serve more aggressively. We're going to miss some, um, and as consistently as possible. Again, the reason that Indiana is in that match tonight is because they serve so aggressively and consistently in, and that put us, uh, you know, in, in a tough spot. We have to be able to bring that to the other side. And again, I think everybody else, if I look at the numbers, did a good job. Um, and I thought we hit a lot of our targets. I thought we made them uncomfortable. Again, we still held them down to 189, you know, which is good. And again, this was our worst performance. And this is with Avery, their right side, going 405 with 25, 24 kills. Like, you know, so everybody else I thought we did a really nice job on. Um, again, we can take away and keep learning.